Hi everyone, Willie here with another episode of Print Pros. And I'm just gonna warn you right now, this episode is going to be possum. You'll see in a little bit why. Well, in this episode, we're doing something that we've never done before using our newest direct to garment printer, the RI2000. And rather than just printing on any regular t-shirt or hoodies like we've done in previous episodes, which you can watch them in the link in the description below, by the way, I'll be doing something for the first time, which is printing on canvas. But we won't just be doing any regular print, I'll be printing a very special portrait for a friend of mine and her special friend. So before we begin, make sure you smash that like button and you gotta meet Lola. Lola, hey mama, look at the camera, say hi. Hi mama. <laughs> All right, Lola, you ready? Let's go for that photo shoot. Carolina, smile. Lola, Lola. Beautiful. Let's go. Oh my God, they're killing it. That is beautiful. All right, guys. So meanwhile, they're taking those pictures. I want to talk to you guys about the RI2000. This is our newest DTG printer, and it is the big brother of the RI1000. Now, before I jump into the cutter gate software, which comes with this machine, I wanted to go over some of the cool features that this machine comes with compared to the RI-1000 model that I've demoed in the past. The first major difference is that the RI-2000 has a dual carriage system compared to the RI-1000 that only has one. This allows the RI-2000 to print at even higher speeds with an extra super speed setting that can print an image in less than like nine seconds. The RI2000 also has an automated table height adjustment feature so that you don't have to spend time manually adjusting the table height to get the perfect distance from the print head. And finally, the RI2000 has an automatic head cleaning jig that automatically cleans the nozzles without having to manually use any swabs or wipes and go in there and do it yourself, right? For an overview of all of the features for both the RI1000 and the RI2000 printers, check out the link in the description below. All right guys, so with all that being said, I think it's time to jump into the software that's actually gonna be sending the designs over to the machine. Come on, let's go. All right guys, so our photographer is done with the photo shoot and he also sent over the a picture already edited. So what we gotta do right now is put it onto ColorGate, which is a software that comes with your machine. Now, this software is super easy to use. I love how simple it is just transferring, ripping it, and making any edits if you really wanted to. But this picture is you know, edited by a uh, pro, so let's just go ahead and put it in the software. So here's the design. I'm just going to just drag and drop over to the um, bottom part over here. So this is your archive, right? Once you're done doing that, you can uh, make any small edits if you double click on it. So let's go ahead and just double click on the picture. Now, another window is gonna come out and here's where you can make your edits. So I'm gonna start off with the first one and I'm going to be choosing the printer going down to the size that I'm going to be using for the media. So media size I'm going to be using is the large, which is a 19.6 by 16 width. Now, my canvas is 16 by 20, so that's very close. So let's go over to the job now and let's rescale it just a little bit. So Let's uncheck the scale button. And now let's just make sure that the width is at 16. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just make sure that is uh, centered. So if we go over to the offset on the X, click on the little arrow, select center, and then on the Y, let's do the same thing. Center it. All right, so now let's move over to the color and select the media. So for the media we're gonna be using is the white, and we're going to be using I would say maybe uh, a super fine. So let's go over to eight pass. Now this is just uh, the quality that you want, how many times it passes through the same area. So this will pass through the same area eight times. Uh, so you get a super fine uh, view afterwards. All right, so we have that done. All we have to do now is just press okay. It's going to reload. So let's go ahead and rip it so the machine can read it. And after it's done ripping, we're going to right click and select print. It's as easy as that. All right, now for the canvas that I'm going to be using, it's going to be this one here. 
Now, this is a frame canvas. If we turn it backwards, you can see how the frame is exposed. Now, there's another one, which is a board canvas, which is a lot thinner and a lot cheaper. And since I've never done this before, I decided to go with the board canvas just for testing. Now, this one here came in a pack of three and it was just $10. While this one over here came in just one for $7. Now, the profit margins for this is crazy. You have a 16 by 20 that only costs $7 and you can sell this anywhere from $50 to $100. That gives you a profit potential of between anywhere $43 to $93. Now, I'm not going to be pre-treating this canvas because instead I'm going to be using this clear coat satin finish just to protect the paint. This one is just a couple of dollars, but the good thing is that you can reuse this a lot of times. Now let's go ahead and put this canvas onto our machine and on top of the plan. Now to align this is very simple. You're just going to eyeball it. So what I'm gonna do is first look at the machine straight ahead and I'm going to look at the bottom piece and make sure that I have the same amount of space on one side and on the other side, right? So let's just go ahead and go a little bit down here and you can visualize it better. All right, and now I'm going to go over on the other side and make sure that this has the same space on the front and in the back as well. So let's go a little bit lower, just a tiny bit. And it's as simple as that. Once you get this aligned, the next thing we have to do is select the auto height adjustment and then afterwards just press the button to print. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do that now. That looks amazing. All right guys, so let's go ahead, since it's still a little wet, let's put it under some type of like heating element. In this case, it's perfect because I had the 16 by 20 heat press and this is the Ricoma heat press. Now you could simply use a, a heat gun or something or even just leave it outside and pick it up the next day and it should be dry. But I'm trying to rush this process a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave it under the heat press. Now, if you want to make it a little faster, you could just hover it, bring it down a little bit and just hover it. But for me, that should be fine. Meanwhile, I'm going to tell you about this spray here. So this is the spray that I'm going to be using after is dry. And that is basically the clear coat satin finish so that you can rub your hand around it and the uh, paint itself stays nice and stuck to the canvas. Uh, but I will tell you this, I used it indoors and it smelled really bad. So I'm gonna be using this outside, okay? So I'll be back in a little bit, pick this up and spray it down. All right guys, now this came out amazing. All the little details are in there, I love it. So I guess it's about that time for an amazing montage. Let's go. All right, Carolina, Lola, are you ready? Check this out. Oh what? my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> you like it? Love it. So this was actually pretty easy to do, believe it or not, and it was super fast. Yeah, and look at the contrast and all that. I didn't really have to do much to the contrast of the colors. It was just basically just importing it and transferring it over to the machine and it came out amazing. The details on it are amazing. But yeah, here you go. I Thank hope you, you enjoy so it. Thank you so much, it's awesome. amazing. All right, guys, so meanwhile, they're going to go ahead and enjoy that. I'm going to clean up my office here, so I'll see you in a couple minutes. But for you, it's going to be just three, two, now. As always, for more content just like this, make sure you like this episode and follow us on YouTube and even on Instagram at HQ, where we have over 40,000 followers. 
You can also join us on our Facebook page, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where you can network with close to 30,000 members in the apparel decoration community. All right, guys, happy printing, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.